back out here on a freaking Wednesday, boys and girls. Headed over here to the Tratter Taxi. I'm going to be taking my new trailer. A lot of you asked, you've seen the video with the flatbed, we went down and did the burnout. We are still having issues, and yes, we are. Um, it just kind of drags the brakes if you get on them too hard. Really, if you just try to stop, it just drags the tires. So anyhow, uh, Load King, which is also renowned, which is also prestige, out of Canada, who builds this trailer, has shipped me a set of Meritor slack adjusters. I'm not sure what are on this axles now, but they only take the ones that they sent from the factory on it off and put manual adjusting slack adjusters on it. So I'm not doing it. I'm gonna take it to a shop and they can pay the shop to do it because I'm tired of dealing with all the crap, this dang trailer. Well, just another thing to add to today's problems. This thing's dead. Which, Peterbilt, the new ones have an automatic low voltage disconnect. Whenever it gets below a certain level, it'll shut off. So I don't know why this thing didn't shut off. Guess I'm going to start flicking the old switch down there just to kill it. So yeah. Lovely. It's always something. It's always freaking something. All right, so yesterday we delivered a uh, mower I sold, I brought a post hole auger kit, because the lady we sold her one, she bent one up, so we brought a whole kit, and we ended up only using the dry shaft out of it, so. Nick just came back off of a delivery, picking up a tractor we've got to work on, and uh, we're gonna see if we can get this thing jumped off. This probably ain't gonna do it. I'll try it, though. Yeah, grab the jump box. I have to start to turn the main power switch off. All right, 12 volt jump box hooked up. There we go. All right, good deal. That's how we do it, South Lacucci. All right, so it, Nick picked this tractor up. He thinks it's knocking. So we're gonna find out. The oil definitely is really thin. It's like Not a happy. smoked engine. Check your. Here are the four slack adjusters, slack mirror tour. So you guys see the part number we're putting on it. 5.5 inch, 28 spline. Yeah, so we're getting down here to the tire or the uh, trailer shop, we'll open the box up, check them out, and then uh, drop this thing off. All right, so I made it up here to this truck yard and uh, this thing decides it's gonna go into like region. old pothole right there so just like just like that guys the trailers dropped off they're gonna be checking it out later today or tomorrow morning um, basically prestige and Jim Hawk trailer Jim Hawk was originally going to just swap me out another trailer but they've since went back on their word which okay I get it I don't want to have to sell a used trailer and give me another brand new one so now they've sent me a set of Meritor slack adjusters we just dropped those off with the trailer and they said put those on there and see if it fixes the problem. But the biggest problem it's got right now is it has warped drums. So even if we put brand new slack adjusters on it, we're going to have problems. So I let the guys know here at this shop that they pull it off, the drums are warped, go ahead and slap new drums on it and new shoes, and then put the you know the slack adjusters on and see what kind of fixes our problem. And then we can move on from there. And I just noticed, like I really don't drive the truck with no trailer behind it. Um, it's like when I was, you know, pulling with the trailer you barely touch the brakes I mean just barely and you're stopping like fast borderline dragging the trailer brakes with, like I'm talking like five five psi on the gauge of brake pressure right 
the truck, no trailer behind it, it takes around 10 to 11 PSI to start getting good braking power, which just goes to show me right there, the rear the trailer brakes are doing a lot more than they need to, a lot more than the truck's brakes are. So hopefully they get something figured out. We're gonna head back to shop and see what else we can get into today. Day-to-day -day operations. What do we have here? We got some hoopties. Oh baby, look at these things. Cut them open. What are you waiting for? You know what these are? Yeah, for your dog. For the, for, for the Lincoln. <laughs> Let me go get Amber. <laughs> oh boy. Come look what, where's Amber? Come here, look what came in. Flip one out for her. Amber hates the car. She's gonna hate it even more now. We're riding, to, we're riding the commandos on Friday. Boom! They're from my Lincoln. <laughs> Dang, those are gonna look good. They got a little bit of meat on them still. Shout out to Custom Offsets. So anyhow, like I said, shout out to Custom Offsets for setting us up with these wheels. They've got center caps, of course, and lug nuts and all kinds of stuff. These are going to be going on our stinking Lincoln. I'm probably going to pull it on the lift in a little bit. We've got to fix the brakes on it that we can get these babies slapped on there. These things are freaking sick. Are those the, those the front tire or the rear tire? I don't know. Drop some comments down below, guys. Let me know how you feel about the day-to-day -day videos. You guys kind of see what's going on here in the shop. Um, I know some of the videos have been posting, like the wheelie tractor, when we tried crushing stuff underneath the wheel loader, stuff like that, it doesn't exactly tickle everyone's fancy, but just trying to like branch out and do things that are different to uh, see if we get a different line of viewers. It seems like most everyone really just wants the semi content and the day to day stuff, so I guess we'll stick with that for a while. Speaking of day to day content, I had a Snap On scanner I traded in today. They gave me 700 bucks, and the new one right here is 2700 or something like that. Um, I know a lot of people say, well, the Snap-on sold this really isn't that big of a deal. I just needed a good scanner that read diagnostics um, so that I could see the, you know, PIDs and things like that on trucks. So we're about to start working on trucks again. Looks like Ray Ray's pulling in a tractor here. We're trying to get it worked on. Uh, this one right here was brought in by, we actually picked it up for a customer for us to work on it. And uh, he said he changed the oil. But instead of, he trained it out of the engine, but didn't put it back in the engine, he filled the transmission up full of motor oil, unfortunately. And uh, it started knocking, then he put engine oil in it, it was too late. And we pulled the oil pan off and we found this spun rod bearing, which is very unfortunate because this tractor only has a little over 200 hours on it, 269 roughly. So kind of a bad situation. We got another tractor here in the shop that I bought at the auction, little Kubota L2501. It had a spun rod bearing also, so we're gonna put a crank in it, new pistons and all that good stuff. And it had a loader and the backhoe on it, so we're gonna get this thing all fixed up and tidy. It's back out here at the shop. I uh, had to run up to Brooksville and go pick up a windshield for a tractor. And you may wonder, Bruce, why are you getting a windshield for a tractor? Well, it was busted. And that is because old Ray Ray right here piloting this here machine. He uh, was putting a loader on it and had a lapse of judgment, we'll say, <laughs> and busted the other one. So we got a new new one right here. We're gonna get it slapped on, just went over to General Auto in Brooksville and got it picked up. And uh, let's go over here and see what he got down on this here Mahindra he pulled in the door earlier. The orbital valve on it has been leaking. I'm pretty sure that's what is causing the oil leak. Maybe he got it fixed, I don't know. Go to the other side. Well, it looks like you might have done something because I don't see any oil leaking around anymore. Let's put this windshield put in. And there you have it, folks. Brand new. Oh. We would have had a brand new windshield and we still have it, but uh, they sent us the wrong one. Great. Wasted trip. So our part number should have been a 4681-8061, but it said we got received a 4682. So, back outside, we're gonna put the garbage bag back over this tractor and wait on a windshield for, we actually got the windshield, they got it in, but the rubber seal didn't show up, so we waited. 
been about three weeks this thing hasn't had a windshield on it now. Rubber seal is the right part number. Windshield's wrong. Great. Also, while we're at it, I think I told you guys, you can see them up in there, but I ordered some bumper or bought some stock bumpers to put on my TRX here. And they showed up kind of scratched up. I'll walk inside and show you, but I put the leveling kit on the truck. And I don't hate the front bumper on it now. Like, it looked kind of crappy because the front sagged a lot, but now I think it looks pretty good. Let me know what you guys think. So now that we've got the front bumper on it, well, the bumper's already on it. We got a new skid plate on because I caved the old one in at Rancho running it. But uh, we put the Fowls Motorsports leveling kit on it. You can see it right there underneath the spring there. Um, it's got a little bit of vibration, but I think it's because the tires are obviously bald. But uh, it doesn't look bad with the leveling kit on there in the front bumper. So I think I'm going to leave it. So I'm going to be selling the stock bumpers that I got. I bought them from a guy out in Washington. He shipped them, they're brand new takeoffs, but in shipping, he didn't package them very well. So they got scuffed up right there, right down there, and a pretty good, pretty good scuffs on them. But hey, I only paid like 500 bucks, but I paid 900 in shipping to get them here. So that's what kind of hurts. But someone will buy them, I'm sure. Well, guys and girls, I'm back here at the house. That's a wrap for today's video and our little trailer update. I will hopefully have an answer on what's going on tomorrow and uh, we can maybe move forward on that. So uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.